welcome back. We've got a short video today on where to go and how to obtain this really nice geographic location specific daily mobility variation data that's been made available by Google. So this goes really nicely with a recent video we did on how to obtain daily COVID case data, geographic specific uh, data made available by Johns Hopkins. So you put these two things together, you can ask questions like, how does variation in mobility, the more people move around in different contexts, how does that affect the number of cases that come up in a given country, region, uh, etc., a week, two weeks down the road, and then vice versa. Would you see more cases? Do you see people stay home more? These are really interesting questions. And of course, put that together with economic data, spending, employment, savings, etc., and you've got a really nice project. So all we want to look at today is, again, where to get that data. So on the screen, we are at the site here, google.com slash COVID slash mobility. Uh, definitely spend some time exploring this site, see what other uh, data sources have made it, been made available by Google. Um, but this is where we're going to focus. And if we scroll down a little bit here, we'll see we have country-specific data and they've made these little PDF reports available. But of course, when we're trying to gather raw data, we want to stay as far away from PDF files as possible. So we scroll back up and we see we have a global CSV file. So that seems like a good place to start. So if we click on that after a second or two, um, we're going to see the raw data with those comma separated columns. And we could save this as a CSV file and import it uh, into Stata that way. Uh, easier way is to get the address here. So go up to the website address bar, copy that, command C, and then go into Stata and we'll use the command import delimited. And then we can just drop in the website where the file is located. Uh, but note, we want this line to end at .csv, right? So get everything after that out. Go ahead and hit enter. And depending on your computer speed, this might take a few seconds. Uh, while we're waiting, uh, let me just mention that you might want to follow me on Twitter. I'm going to start every week putting out uh, little tips and tricks, of course, linking to any videos that come out. Uh, as well as any free resources that come my way in terms of uh, data availability or economics, econometrics in general, uh, and I'll put that in the description. So, I, I delayed just long enough. So here is the data. So let's take a look, let's browse this, and we've got a lot going on here. So we've got every country in the world, starting here alphabetically by uh, country code, United Arab Emirates, and then we have these daily observations. So if you look in the uh, data description, so definitely explore that uh, on that Google site, these are percentage changes from the day of the week specific baseline that they've established. So when you see a negative two on this particular day, mobility in the retail sector was 2% lower than the typical uh, result on that day of the week, et cetera. So you see a number like this, a positive 10, so there's 10% more mobility than anticipated, than typical on that day. So depending on what, uh, what your project is, you might wanna keep all this data, so it's country by country, day by day, so lots of different uh, observations there. And note that this is already in kind of our longitudinal long format, so we have one column of cross-sectional identifier, country code or country region, um, and then one column of time-specific indicator, our date variable here. For my purposes, where I'm going to be focusing on uh, COVID cases, mobility, and banking activity in the U.S., I'm going to want just U.S. county-level data. So I might do something like this, in state to keep if our country region code is equal to 
U.S. And since it's in string, we put it in quotes. And now we go back to the data browser. So we only have U.S. data here. So here's kind of the aggregate. And then as we scroll down, we get the state level. And then within each state, still scrolling, still scrolling, we get county-specific data, again, day by day by day by day. And this FIPS code here, you're going to see that show up in that Johns Hopkins COVID data set as well. And that's going to be our identifier, again, in my case, with the U.S. county-level data uh, to merge those cross-sectional units. The next trick is to get the date variables to match in the two, uh, the two different files to merge them because it is panel longitudinal data. Um, but that's not going to be too much of a difficulty. And now you're off to the races. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Hopefully this will get you started on an interesting project. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.